have checks. Everybody look at the minutes. I did. Yeah, right. I moved to approve. Second. All right. Say aye. 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 Dana, did JJ tell you I brought her that? She did, yeah. She I told her, so what we did, so we did make sure it was okay to, yeah. for her to work on it. She, yeah, she, she, I checked, uh, or I was in one day, on the other day, I was out so sick, uh, she asked me about it. Did she understand mm -hmm. about it all? Mm -hmm. I, I thought she could probably She's do it. She's been working on it, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's no big hurry on it, I don't believe. Well, it gets a two for one deal for some reason. Yeah, it's been doing that. Does anybody want to do drink it up? Because I'm not drinking two of them. I mean, I can get wild, but I can't get that wild. Anyway, we should be getting some state funds in, and I'm sure Patrick will have his fees. That'll help bring that up. Um, we're sending out, we're working on the delinquent letters now to send them out as soon as we can get them folded and stuff. Tax sale will be February the 26th. Right. Names will go to the paper. I think the last date of hay to keep it out is the 29th of January. You got my name on there? I didn't see it. <laughs> I've been wondering if my taxes was paid up. Anything can happen. Now, where was you at the other day? I went all the way to Billy with you and you didn't show up. Did you go? Yes, I went. I was sick. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Just now, today's the first day. Did you have like a head cold? I, well, my tonsils were swollen, white as can be. I think she's it's cold. Ooh. Today's the first day I feel. You still stay on the roof, Ruby. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you all do to get sick good? up here. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it could have been better if you had. You know, some company there. Wow. I mean, if you showed up. Well, I'll be there next year. Right. What'd you bring? Well, I don't know. What was it a mom boy? Gary, I carried Gary something in. Dinner, <laughs> <laughs> cabbage, and hog jaw. And oh, like all stuff. first day yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We're healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's probably why I'm not so healthy. Yeah, you should have showed up. I should have went. Anyway, that's all I have exciting. Thank you. We have to have that on file every year. What I need to look at that so you put it down the minutes. What is it, a yearly agreement that we sign for? Yeah. It don't matter. Throw him in a stack for Jason. Jason. Yeah, give him to Jason. He's there starting off. Hey, did they get your elevator figured out last week? Or do you know anything about it? They were over here working on it. I hadn't heard no more about it. I've just seen this elevator maintenance and thought about that. I never even got stuck in it. Huh? Mary Lou got stuck in it. Yes, sir. Oh my God, that's not good. <laughs> no. How long was she in there? Not very long, I don't think. <coughs> Did she call somebody? I guess whoever was working out front might have heard her. Oh, pretty much. I bet they heard me over here. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know that, huh? <laughs> Things going over there pretty good. Pretty good. Y'all, people do you have in jail? You know, I think he's in the, in the low 30s. If three or maybe four next week, he's sending Menard prisons. Uh, Ted, I have that information you asked me about. Uh, that, now, Joe told me he wanted to keep the D3, the greater, and the low, okay. which will be that's the most expensive things we have. The old D7, he said he could part with it. Um, if you sell the D3, uh, I went over there at Cap, 
and uh, they looked it up, and it's, they were bringing 49 to 69 thousand. A dealer would have 69 on sale at about 49. Okay. And of course, the old seven, uh, he said 50 thousand. I don't believe they bring that much. The greater 50, and the lower 15. <coughs> but he wants to keep all but the B7. There's a truck out there too. Is a inter green international truck? International or Freightliner One? Well, it's, it's an, I believe it's an international truck. No, it's it's like a shop truck. It's probably a two-ton truck. It's it's underneath that building with all the equipment over there. Okay, in the back there, or out to the north it's end. On the north side. Okay. And I think it had a little mileage on it too, but he said he was going to have to take the dead off, but he wanted to keep you know the truck and the chassis and all that. Okay. That D3 at 121 hours, so <coughs> about, about three weeks work. That makes sense, doesn't it? What, 100 and what? They said, well, they had one that brought 84,000. Yeah, but how many hours it got on it? 121 hours. And that's three weeks work? About what, that was 40, 80? About, about a week and two about. days, buddy. You got to get up and run. <laughs> <coughs> Seven. I, I couldn't see the hours on it, uh, but I went over the case and they said that was a case loader, and uh, they said about ten to fifteen thousand. But I figured low hours it should bring fifteen. Okay. Well, if you find out for sure what dates, we can start turning stuff loose. I'll get Patrick to do all the okay. paperwork. I'll just keep this if you need it. Okay. Well, you just want to have like an auction, or well. If Joe wants this stuff, yeah. we can do an intergovernmental agreement. Okay. We can just you know, we can set up an account, he can put that money in the account. We don't have to auction it off. But the stuff that he doesn't want, then we'll have to have an auction for it. You gotta look at that truck out there. So Joe will have to purchase these things. Say the greater was, Jerry? Uh, 50. 50? <coughs> yeah. And then the lower is about 15? About 15. And the D3, uh, well, I'd say 69, but they did have one on sale. But, but see, uh, they didn't know what model it was, and I didn't either. It's, it's a D3K. Okay. But uh, I don't know if it's two years old or five years old. Some stuff like that snap on toolbox last year, it was probably like a ten thousand dollar toolbox. We just, you know, we'll, we'll do the paperwork on space, we're just gonna give it to them. Yeah, <coughs> that's about all I have. Anything else? Yes, I guess just give those checks to Sandy. Do we need to adjust courthouse maintenance base budget? I wonder. That's the twenty. That's Marsha's yeah, salary, there, right? There was two. It was this one? The little one down here, eighty-five cents. Is that a Patrick question? Maybe that probably would be a good idea to go ahead and do that. What do you think, guys? Which one? Uh, the second line down, courthouse maintenance pays over budget twenty-eight bucks. Oh, yeah, it's twenty seventy-six. Not a huge deal, but I think it probably needs to be right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the like was through twelve thirty or four six. days of this year went into that payroll. Yeah, payroll. That's, that's been my problem with CIC this week. Uh, be, even though there were four days of your pay in fourteen, they don't separate it. See, QuickBooks put a end of the year. End of the year, yeah. just automatically. No, and, and so anything that was left over in fourteen because this check was dated the, in fifteen, it all goes fifteen. So on their W-2s, their amounts are not going to be their actual salaries this year. 
because they won't get that four days that should have been. So next year their salary is going to be higher. Than the W-2 show. No. Exactly. No, the W-2 They're, next year will show higher. They got their check in 15, though, right? Right. The W-2 will show... So they're shy one. They're shy one check in fourteen. Mm -hmm. So their W two will show higher in, in fourteen in fiscal year fourteen or their tax their tax year fourteen than what they actually made. <coughs> correct? Because they got paid for some fourteen work in fifteen. No, it goes all in fifteen. That's what I'm saying. The last payroll. The last payroll. Oh, that's what because it's the check that Marcia got for fixing those signs, yeah. the last one, did it come yeah. out of our line item over yes, here? It did. So that's why that's over. That's why that's over. That's why. Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't. It's, it's it really not. Have. Yeah. But it should have came out of contingency. Yeah. Yes. So that'll straighten And it will from okay. now on. That was my error. I did get Abby corrected, okay. by the way. That's why. That's um, but, like I say, CIC is going to fill in my side this week. <clears throat> and not anything that I did. It was all in the computer system. Does JJ deal with that too? Yes. Yeah, she's saying stress. She, yeah. So if you she want to make is. a that 85 cents, that's the only other one. Who's that, Jessica? That'll be on John. No, part time salary. That's on uh, Tammy, the nurse. Oh, okay. And I don't know where the 85 cents come from. State's attorney take care of that one. Yeah. Anything below count number 10 is not mine. For the sheriff's department. And Christmas. Christmas Eve. See, there's Christmas. ran through. New Year's. Yeah, Christmas Eve, Christmas, and New Year's. All three of them. Four holiday days total, right? New Year's Day considered well, your, a holiday. Your, your check ended on. Yeah, but that's just three. Christmas January Eve, January 3rd. Christmas Day, and New Year's. We don't get New Year's yeah. Eve. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sure that I first. Check. We're paying through the ninth of this week. Is that right? January the ninth. Not on the sheriff. Not on the sheriff's. The sheriff's no, office. Sheriff's office. Highway are both totally different. Okay. When when does so their week started on the twenty second and ended on January the third? Is that right? There's there's the end of January fourth on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. It started. Uh, so you always start on a Monday. Yes. And they would have started on the twenty. Yeah, 22nd. 22nd would have been. Yeah. So Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. Just yeah. three right. holidays.
Western Baptist on New Year's Eve. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's just something sudden. I mean, just. <clears throat> yeah. Just wow. Had strokes and they've had strokes. Oh. Man, wow. So now we're just hoping he can swallow all three. Yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I sure didn't know that. How old is he? He's two. school started back up. No. <laughs> I don't think our kids, they were all tired. He had his wisdom teeth taken out oh. last Monday, so oh, he? he's still healing up. All of them? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody in particular did it? Abra. Oh, okay. Western Baptist. <coughs> but so far, no dry sockets, so that's good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> Taking out when I was in college. I think I, I was probably 19 when yeah. I was mine. Was he, did he bruise a lot? Yeah, you know, he didn't really. It was just a little swollen. Yeah. But now it's just every time he eats, I gotta <coughs> put that syringe, syringe thing in, there. in the hole and uh -huh. yeah. wash it out so no food gets stressed. That's the. That's nasty, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Jason's wife's a dental hygienist. She might. Yeah. For free. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did mine on two trips. I had the bottoms taken out first. And those are the ones that make you sick. So that, I went back with within six months and had the top ones. Yeah, I was top sitting around doing whatever I wanted to. And they, that died of the half acid. Wore off, you know. <laughs> you might. Oh, they yeah. were in. Look at it. I didn't know if Jeff yeah. wanted these or not. Hey, he compl he'll complain. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> hey, can we get those names printed in the paper? Can we do that? Is that legal? Can I ask Patrick? <coughs> you can ask him. You know what? We gotta get these people off my taxpayers. Well, they wouldn't be on it unless they needed it. Well, except some of them may. <laughs> some of them I know. There's a few. Yeah. Apples. If you make decisions that cost you. Put on be in that situation. I still don't see how that's the taxpayer's fault. Yeah. I know, Lori. You got a big heart. So I'm telling you, they're taking advantage of you. We've all made bad decisions in To raise the insurance, is that what you said? No, I said did it. Oh, okay. Well, not to my knowledge. That's good. So, like in Jeremy, he brings us Larry's house of cake cookies every year. Mm. He's redeeming himself. <laughs> <laughs>
Jim just staying up there, your husband? Well, we were up there, let's see, three or four days we stayed, and then we had to get back to work today. Brett's up there taking the night shift, and then his mom stays during the day. Okay. But you just never know. We might have to yeah, go, go back. back up there if he takes a turn for the worse. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. You always seem so healthy. And they couldn't do anything at Western Baptist. What am I? The only thing they could do is let them sit there and stroke. They oh. had three, he had three strokes while he was there. And <clears throat> Dr. Grubbs just said, well, he's got two blocked arteries to his brain. And it's nothing we can do. Just let sit here and stroke out. Can they not go put a stand in? <coughs> so hmm. we took him to Vanderbilt. Yeah. That's a whole different level of care. Oh, yeah. It's yep. yep. amazing. there in Louisville, but a thunderstorm came up with lightning, so the jet couldn't fly. So they had to send the ambulance down to Vanderbilt. He was sent down there. Had an excellent weekend. Yeah. yeah. But he was never in it. <laughs> they had an excellent one. Oh, wow. You know, he was five pounds, eight ounces. And he didn't, <laughs> he didn't have, have to go in there. Well, that's good. Yeah. They were really good to me down there. Yeah, I like them. Uh, so so it's instead of these tax dollars, it's these tax dollars. Let me get it back. <laughs> All coming out of the people's pockets. How's it going, Joe? Right, how are you all? You ran kind of slow this morning. You doing all right? Huh? Like you were sitting slowly there. Like, sitting slowly? Like, like <laughs> no, the back was getting yeah. here or something. No, I'm okay. Shear or something, or, or crush it, or crush it, yeah. Compression machine it breaks them and measures how much force it takes to break them, and that tells you the strength of the concrete. Beds for excavators. And uh, how many did you get? Uh, let's see, we got beds for face caterpillar, deer, and kamatsu. We got at least, we did not get it, we got a, a bid for new on all of those. And then case kamatsu. Caterpillar gave us bids for used machines. Um, I was a little taken back by the cost. I didn't really think that the difference in trading ours in and these would be so expensive, but they are. It's pretty high. Uh, <coughs> you know, just to kind of go through some of them, the, for the new machines, uh, and I'm just I asked for a bid for a model that's similar size to what we have, and then one that's a bigger size. I'm not even going to tell you what the bigger size was. They were all basically 200,000 or over. Uh, it's the case for this comparable size to ours was 175, 708. The Caterpillar, similar size to ours, was 194, 440. John Deere was 166, 159, and the Komatsu was 184, 413. Uh, that's that's the price for 
those machines and, and they were basically as far as trading uh, you know they're only offering between twenty five and twenty eight thousand dollars for our machine so to put it bluntly we don't even have anywhere near that much money in our budget for equipment for this year so I don't see any way possible that we would be able to afford to <coughs> buy a new one uh, Joe, when Larry bought that Komatsu, he borrowed from another, uh, I guess, line item in the cold in the county, borrowed money from that account and, and then paid that back. Right. Can you do that or do you propose to do that or what? What well, is paid back a certain amount each year? I would have to look. And uh, I think he paid it back right away. Okay. I would have to look and see as to what we could borrow from that we wouldn't be spending. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, if, you know, that's the prices for the new machines. If we go with a used machine, um, I didn't get many good prices on used machines either. I mean, the Komatsu, they gave us price for a used machine at 165950 <laughs> which is about as much as some of How many hours have. on something like that? Well, that one says it has 691 hours. And I wouldn't touch that for for the difference, would you? I, I mean, what's, I would go for a new. Yeah, what's twenty thousand dollars for yeah. or whatever it is? I think sixty nine. Yeah, less than twenty. Uh, Deer didn't give us a bid for a new a used machine. Caterpillar, their used machine was one hundred sixty five thousand. How many hours did it? Have? It had uh, fifteen hundred hours. Wouldn't do that either. And. Case gave us a price for two used machines the same size as ours uh, for $115,000 and $120,000. $115,000 was for a 2007 with a little over 3,200 hours on it. The $120,000 was for a 2011 with 2,000 hours on it. What was that number? A 210? Was that the number? Yeah, CX210D. How many hours on our actuator? We have 56 something on ours. Um, so, you know, for, I would think, you know, in my opinion, I mean, I, I want to know what you guys' opinion on is and what you'd like to me, for me to pursue. But um, I'm thinking the, the case, 2011 case with 2,000 hours on it for 120,000 is probably the best option for us to pursue. Well, are they, I guess they're rental units, aren't they? Yes. I mean, that's a four-year-old machine with 2,000 hours on it. Uh, it says it has approximately 80% of the undercarriage left. You know, 120,000 for it. And, you know, they're only offering $25,000 trade for ours. So what I would suggest there is to not accept the trade and us, you know, auction our machine off. Well. Or keep it. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I, I was we're checking around on some of the price to fix, to do redo our undercarriage and redo the swivel seal or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and it's probably going to run around twenty to $25,000 to repair our machine. You know, and that's another option. We could not buy anything and just put the money in our, back in ours. You know, we've got a 2000 You know, our, our machine is 15 years old already. Well, another ten it, years out of it, it's not going to be worth anything. No, no. Uh, <coughs> put that money into it, and two weeks later, it's still worth whatever they've offered you to trade. Maybe a little bit more, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, if we can get even thirty-five to forty out of it on an auction, you know, the difference in that and this hundred twenty, we be ninety thousand to ninety-five thousand difference if we can get that. You know, as of right now, you know, we wouldn't be able to have a sale right away. We bought this machine with the hundred. I we have one hundred forty-two thousand dollars in our capital equipment budget for this year, and it would cover this machine. That's a little despair. Of course, we if we bought this machine, we don't have the right kind of bucket. You know, that that bucket we were looking at replacing that clam bucket to be able to do what we do, and that's a fifteen thousand dollar item. So, you know, we're talking about. 
buy this machine and that bucket, that would pretty much do us in for our capital equipment for this year. The thing that scares me about that is that not, that's not really a every year type of budget for capital equipment because that's using the carry <laughs> yeah. you know, Really, with the revenue that we get and the budget, but I've kind of balanced years between, to get back there. between revenue and that, we're only talking about 40000 a year of capital equipment normally. If we didn't have any, if we, if we didn't say we didn't have any reserve, we'd be looking at 40000 a year. And that's <coughs> going to take three team. years to four years to get that back up. Um, yeah, you're talking if you buy the deer is the best price on a new machine. You know, you, you're talking forty. Six thousand dollars difference between the new deer and the used calf. Yeah, it's one sixty six, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. What uh, what kind of engine does that case have damage? Um, I would have to ask specifically. I heard from somebody that case like, uh, is made by a company called Sumitomo or something like that. That's who makes their excavators, and I think they <laughs> put. Suzu engines in it, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm not 100% on that. I have to check to be, tell you where I am. <coughs> I think <coughs> just what I've heard, Joe, that the John Deere and the <coughs> Matsu parts are, are higher than the case. Higher than the yeah. case. Now, the cab, I don't know. It's a warranty on it. It's got a 90-day major component warranty. So, you know, if we decided to buy this used one, we basically, I mean, it's been in their rental fleet, so I'm sure that it's worked all the bugs out of it and everything, and I'm not saying that something won't go yeah. wrong with it the first day we get it. <clears throat> one thing about those rental uh, pieces of machinery, when, if you just rent it for a day and take it back, I think they service it again. I think every time it comes in, they service it. They probably keep it clean and they probably yeah, keep it greased and, and everything. So yeah, you know, not the oil change, but you know, grease it up and check it. Do you uh, foresee in like next two or three years any other major equipment purchases? Um, major purchases, no. Uh, I mean, we will probably be getting into needing you know trucks at some point in time, and I'm not saying we have to buy. will need some pickup trucks because a lot of our pickup trucks are getting extremely old and wore down. And I'm not saying that's a major purchase, but it's a purchase. I just wondered if, if you didn't, uh, like at that John Deere 166, what if uh, you uh, financed it for three years and put 50000 each year down on it, and that wouldn't hit that account too hard? Would they do a low any kind of low low interest, or could they even look at options like that? Well, I haven't I haven't checked on financing. I didn't know uh, that would be an option. But. You know, it's one of those things that you know we have it in our reserve right now. I mean, it's not that it would be the same taking him out yeah. of our reserve as a borrowing it from somebody else. I mean, yeah, you know, I just didn't know if uh, we just don't have the money in our account to cover something if something. Major went wrong right. this year, you know. Uh, so, and then the other thing that I was talking to the sheriff about, you know, about potential sale. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We talked about it a little bit, Euro, but uh, I don't know when we can have one. But I thought it would be better if we, you know, if we could put our excavator on the same sale that we're selling all this, we at least get more interest, more people here to see it and <coughs> bid on it. I'm not sure what kind of deal we're working on. I, I was hoping that all the equipment that we're getting through the sheriff's department that we could keep the stuff that we want at no cost. But <laughs> he was just in here, uh, and here's what I found out when I was out there the other day. 
the D3, 49 to 69 pounds, and, and I, I guess you'll sell the 07, uh, the greater 50 pounds, and then the low to 15. That was what you said you thought you wanted to keep, and maybe another thing, maybe that truck would the bed on it. That, uh, I didn't look at it. Be honest with you, we weren't looking at paying those amounts for it. Well, okay. well I got these in case you was going to sell it. We I don't want to sell them. I mean, we want to keep them. And I use them, but um, we don't have any budget. The heat ain't got any money in the budget for that, right. as far as transferring anything. I mean, if, you know, if we if we talk about a very nominal amount of money to transfer to the sheriff's department so that they can buy some vehicles or something with it. I mean, I can try to find something, but if we're talking that kind of money, that kind of money, yeah. you might as well just load so, it up and take it off. I mean, I mean, they'd kill us on some respects, but you know, I mean, we're just looking at a very, very harsh outlook for the future on our equipment. And you know, just like this, this is a brute, this is a pretty rude awakening here. That, mm -hmm. We need to buy a piece of equipment new or even used. That's going to take three to four years worth of our equipment budget. So, you know, keeping those type types of things helps us out, especially that dozer and everything. But, um, you know, it's just everybody has budget problems. I'm saying we're not any different. I mean, we're you know, I I'm glad that we got those things. I was. Hoping that you know, it didn't cost the sheriff anything to get them. It's not, not a very nominal fee about yeah. delivery. You know, I was hoping that he could make the money to buy his cars off the stuff that we're not keeping, mm -hmm. like the D7, like right. some like of the trucks. other trucks. Right. And, yeah. Uh, What's the value of that D7 delivery? They said 50, but I, I don't think it's that much. It's I've got one. Uh, the 84 model that they were built back in the 80s, the G. <coughs> Maybe 30 pounds. You know, and I mean, if you need more money for something, I mean, we could, uh, I would rather give up another one of those items than have to pay those amounts because we just don't have the money to pay. Well, no, I don't believe <coughs> He was in a while ago. He didn't say what he had in mind. And I, you know, I understand where he's coming from. He wants some money to get some squad cars. You know, so yeah, I understand. So, I mean, my plan. I don't know what you guys think about these bids and everything. I mean, my plan was to actually demo the case and if we liked it then kind of maybe pursue that one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the hundred twenty thousand <coughs> with the two thousand hours. That's yeah two thousand it's a two thousand eleven model and it's got two well it's, it probably will have two thousand hours on it by the time we demo it. I think it's rented out right now. It had nineteen ninety three point eight hours on it when they bid. What's that bucket that's just got on there? Yeah. 42? The 42 inch, yeah. A yard and a half capacity. See, you know, it's been so long. Well, you said 2000. I believe that case back in 2000, I think their bid was like 25,000. I'm 125,000. So they're up, what, 50,000 or something like that? Uh, yeah, the new one was 170,000. <coughs> Is that like with pricing like the county and states get? I mean, that's, that's a yeah, discounted that's price. A government discounted price. Yeah, I, mean, I would yeah. say that if yeah, somebody on the side had to go like zero, if he had to go buy one, it'd probably be uh, 15 to 20 percent higher. Really, that that 
was the only used model that I saw good savings on. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other ones were newer machines, but still. When you get that close, what's, why not have new? Exactly. I mean, you're talking, well, <coughs> I mean, if you really wanted a Caterpillar, okay, I mean, you're saving $30,000 on the used one versus the new one. Yeah, but how many hours does that used one have on it? Number was that 320? Yeah, the, the used one was a 320E. The new one, they made them go to a 323F. It's a different model now oh, because yeah. of the tier four emission Engine, standards. Yeah. Uh, but it's this basically the same type. So, in that situation, that throws another kink in it. How, what does this case take the depth fluid, or what do you, what do you think that have? The used one does not. New one does. No the used one is still a tier three. So it doesn't burn. Yes, it does, it probably does one of those regenerations and tries to burn off some of that stuff, kind of like our backhoes do. Uh, but it does not take depth to it. What's your thoughts? Do you think we need to go ahead and get something with depth fluid or try to find it? No, I, I don't. Most down there at Semi Johnson. They have a tank sitting beside the fuel tank. And of course, there's nothing. They just put it, the, the DEF fluid in that small tank there. You know, nothing to it. But I, I I'm don't sure think maintenance. The only, only, the only even new model I think that burned the depth fluid was the Caterpillar model. The others are still. They're tier, trying to regenerate that. They're till four, tier four interims, which means that they don't use the depth fluid. They still have the regen type thing. I'm not sure what that does to a, a machine. The guy with the John Deere explained to me that they they had worked out a system on their regenerating <coughs> machine that it doesn't lose power and you can still operate while it's regenerating. I don't know if all the machines do the same thing or not, but anyway. But the, the only one that has basically reported to me and told me that it's an actual tier four final which means it burns that fluid was the was the caterpillar. What is that a final price of gold or do you think they'll come down a little on that? On oh, the used one? I'm not uh, really sure what our limits yeah. are as far as bidding this out. I don't know if we can negotiate any further out. Uh, within the law, I don't know. Uh, can we bid it out to give a fair bid? I mean, yeah. The use case sounds pretty good to me. What, what, what was it, 2,000 hours? 2,000 hours, 2011 model, so I guess it's four years old or thereabouts, so they'd put 500 hours a year on it. And you still gotta buy another bucket for it, right? Or, yeah, just 15,000. More or less, I mean, we, had, we didn't get a quote on there. The last time we got a quote on one of those buckets was about a year ago. And that's what it was a year ago. Assuming that they haven't gone up. Uh, Joe, do you think a hydraulic thumb will do the same thing? Your bucket, the bucket they want. Um, you, I asked about that. <clears throat> I asked our operators and the mechanic about that, and they said that it would do similar work. But it wasn't as nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's I'm, easy to work. And, and well, that's, it's possible we could get a hydraulic thumb for four to five thousand dollars rather than fifteen. You know, and, I, and I'll ask that. I mean, if we could, if we could get by with that rather than a mm -hmm. clam bucket, I mean, we we might go that route. But and one thing, the the regular bucket's a whole lot bigger, you know, than the clam bucket. Yeah, it is. Get a little bit more down, I guess. But I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm not an equipment operator. I don't know the difference between using the clam bucket. They and don't that. move that much dirt, though, do they? What? They I mean, use, with a the tractor. They use the clam part when we clear for us. Yeah. It's I easier mean, to I grab, mean, brush, and load. So they don't necessarily need a big bucket to be moving brush with. You'd want a tooth bucket, wouldn't you? Not a dirt bucket. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's for, you know, loading a truck or something, the bigger bucket. Yeah. Is what you're do you ever use it to load? At the yard, or I mean, do you restack? I mean, reach down and stack your gravel behind you or anything? Yeah, we use it to load gravel and stuff like when we were working up in that pit 
last spring. We were so in them, that we, situation, you'd want a big bucket. Yeah, we took the clam bucket off and used our regular bucket when we were doing that because it worked better. Yeah. Bigger bucket. Well, Jason, you're equipment man. What are you saying? No, I'm not. <laughs> Just trying to educate myself here. <laughs> I, honestly, I was thinking that we, you know, if we went with a used machine, I thought we could go and get one for about 80 difference, and it's looking like it's more like 95 to 100 difference, but yeah. if we could get more money out of ours on a sale rather than trading it in, yeah. it might get closer to the 80 mark, and, and that's what I'm shooting for and hoping for. But, uh, is that carriage pretty good on the old one, or is it? On ours? Yeah. No, it needs to be repaired right now. Yeah. I mean, there's probably only of it left. I mean, from what I have heard and from what the guys have told me, back when we had the first tornado back in 2003 and then when we had the ice storms, they used the machine to obviously clear rush and, and load it and everything, but they tracked it just about all over the county. Yeah, they go right down the road with it. Right. And that's what I think Better really order killed it. Yeah. And uh, our machine We've taken care of it, but it's been used very hard. Yeah. It, it hasn't been baby. <laughs> and that's another reason why, in my opinion, I'd really like to go with a, this rather than fixing ours and yeah. using it till it's dead. I'd rather get a machine that's, you know, while ours still has a little value to it, uh, get a different machine. Does the air work on it? Is the air conditioning, has it got air on it, the old one? Um, yeah, I believe it does. Mm -hmm. I believe it does. Well, now, will he bring that one, the demonstrator, over, or do you have to go over there? No, I think he'll bring it over if we have to. Uh, most of them offered to do that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to get Well, that's it. what they did last time. Right? I think they all brought one over, actually. You know, I, I don't really see the need in putting anyone else out when we really don't intend on buying. Yeah. It's, it's, they're all a lot of different. We didn't get a price under 160 something thousand for any of them. Well, we didn't get a price on a, a larger machine, a larger Komatsu machine, a PC240. for a low boy, yep. a used one. <laughs> yep. You're right. So, you know, for some reason we didn't like this case and it just wasn't what we wanted, we'd probably just have to reject them all and go back to the drawing board. You know, yeah. And maybe try to find the used one on Machinery Trader or something or, you know, I, I don't know. But, Throwing papers yet? No, uh, I've got some here. Okay. I had five. Look at something. What am I looking at here, Miss Juanita? Here. Both of them the same? I don't know what it's B. Is it the share? Yes, it is. No, they're not both the same. I think it would be one. How are you? Good. What is our legal options of selling the equipment? Here's one of them. Hot side bump. That's what I was wondering about. That's it. I want to make sure you get the right thing and not yeah. if it's like two of the wrong thing or one. If we or wrong had to do the whole one. entire payroll over, not so you got two because of the that's what you brought up. My, my, I, I can not research to make sure it's right with my top of the system. Well, there may be a time stamp on there. Is there? Yeah. The later one should be the correct one if there's a time stamp on there. I didn't trade that. But the prices are giving us trading in this. I want to bring it here in a little bit. I'll take the better option. <laughs> yeah. 
I was just confused when yeah. I thought I could do the same thing. I, I, I did it one Friday, somebody. and then right. she had to redo right. it yesterday. Right. I, I mean, obviously, there was one make some money on it. Now, did we only right. do the share so, twice? Or? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to keep looking and for another And Mr. Winhorst's check is still isn't being held. Something about his FICO. It's, it's not coming through for 2015. Is that because uh, my FICO stops about in about December? October. Yeah. yeah. November. Yeah. Once he reaches a certain level. level right. right. And they're having a hard time fixing it. Fixing for 2015. We ran that last year, didn't we? Well, yes. Patrick's one of the few that reaches that level. You know, so. It's hard to be intelligent and being up there on that food chain. <laughs> <laughs> the king's crown is a heavy burden to pay that. Mm -hmm. But it really doesn't make any sense. No. If you think about it, why a certain income you don't pay FICA after. I mean, it seems like you should just continue to pay it. I mean, right? I mean you want to draw it out later. Yeah. That's not official for the record. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the attorney says, it doesn't make sense. So. We all need to be paying more taxes. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Just me. Well, I totally understand what you're saying. Draw it out. Patrick, that guy, I can't think of, never can't think of that guy's name that oh, he's really against borrowing money. He's on the radio all the time. Yeah. Jeff Willis? Yeah, I'm a good man. He called the IRS a bunch of idiots yesterday. Was that Ramsey? Dave, Dave Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I don't know if I said that on the radio. <laughs> I, I, I am with him on one thing. I would chuck all my Social Security. You can have it all. I don't want any of it back. Just don't make me pay anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the 2014 budget uh, for printing and publication. It was over by $111, and I would have proposed an amendment uh, to the budget to move money from the Law Library Fund to $120 from the Law Library Fund to the printing and publication <coughs> line item that would uh, bring that uh, into balance. The, uh, we have printing and publication for, typically for juvenile cases, we have to give notice in the newspaper uh, on those cases, and that's what is the expense. And, Evidently, we have more than what we budgeted for. Is that right? Get a motion to. I move to approve. Second. Second. I'll agree. Say aye. 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 Motion to pass. Saw this here. He had a letter to you the it. He came back. That's, uh, I think Jason told me that. Okay. Have we heard any more about that? Or I, no, I haven't got a phone call or anything. Bill is working this week in, in the courthouse, so. Yes. He had said that, uh, I believe he was contacted by the Department of Labor. Oh, he was? The inspector. I know, I called him yeah. the other day. And uh, they're giving him until <coughs> the end of next week to get everything included. What are you supposed to send him pictures or something when he gets it yeah. done? And a certification form. And that's the last thing we have on that, uh, no, that's the last there. issue that we have to abate. Right. I can make a copy of that. I'll bring it down to you if that's okay. That's fine. Uh, Patrick, what about the, the last grant? What, what was that kind of like? I haven't heard anything. I oh, sent, really? sent them our response, and I guess they're still uh, calculating okay. it because, uh, you know, even by my math, there was going to be about $1,300, I believe, yeah. that was going to potentially have to be repaid, yeah. and uh, <coughs> they was, were going to take the information I gave and then get back with me on, on that. I don't know if with the holidays, if they were, it's going to slow things down, but I have not heard anything back. <coughs> I've got uh, that new grant I've given it to <coughs> JJ, and she's going to fill it out. Oh, good. So, um, well, if you need anything from me, please let me know, or okay. if she does, uh, <coughs> I'm happy to help right. any way I can. Okay, I need to, I guess, come get that form from your office for right. the one that we was going to put a lien on the people's property uh, that we mowed. Okay. Yeah. So I'll come up there in a second and get that. I think uh, Becky has it. Okay. Left it with the secretary. Were you <coughs> oh, uh, 
Mark Fitch asked me about getting insurance. Has he contacted you by chance about health, a health insurance through the county? What, you, Can he do that? He's only he's part time coroner. I don't know. I don't believe so. He's part time. Why? Well, I, I don't know how we how do we quantify his hours? Do we have? Uh... Actually, there's him and then two deputies. I think he's a coroner, and then he's chose to give some of his salary to other people to make up yeah. deputies. Right. So I don't know how that works out. Yeah. Well, the previous one did, but I mean, that's just the way we kept doing it. I, yeah. Well, Mark, it's Mark elected to do okay. that as well. So that they wouldn't be on call every <coughs> weekend. Yeah. I think it's Mark plus two people, right? Yeah. Now. Greg Russell and uh, Chad Taylor. Yeah. And are they certified, or is he certified how many hours they work in a week or a month? Uh, actually, Jason, we're working to the polls in the market. I, I don't know. Aren't we, Patrick? I believe that. That was a term of determination made. Mm -hmm. So maybe he might be able to draw. How was it determined that we're full time? Or did anybody remember that? Was it the number of hours you put in? Yeah. It's just, you basically are stating that you're putting in so many hours a week or over a year's period of time. So he would have to think that he was putting just in more than himself, man. No, I didn't <laughs> tell him myself. <laughs> Um, he would have to put in more than 30, 32, 32, 30, 32. 32 is right. Uh, It'll be full time. Right, I think that's right. It's either 30 or 32 for health yeah. insurance, and right now the number is escaping. Yeah. It's one or the other. I guess we'll check into it. I mean, because Jeremy. In your situation, I think it was from my prior boards that obviously you, you meet here for a few hours a week, but then there's other duties you perform yeah. throughout the week. Yeah, like the I don't know if that, I don't want to speak for Mr. Fitch. I don't know how he calculates his time, but he may qualify. <coughs> yeah. Um, Thank you all. all right, Thank you, Pat. The county to purchase uh, this land. Uh, I'm going to motion to. I'll tell you what, I'll make the motion for that. Give a second. All right, all agree, say aye. 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 Then we also have an acquisition agreement uh, to purchase uh, this. What is it you want me to, to make a motion on this here? Is to that is an acquisition agreement for the uh, Jacobs property that's involved in the IEMA grant funds. Let me see if there's a specific address on that. This has already been signed, but uh, my Gary, who is uh, handling the, the uh, grant, but I think it's probably best if, if the board just kind of ratifies that agreement. We, uh, we make the motion that we accept on behalf of Gary signing it or approving it, that we agree uh, to, uh, I guess this is IEMA that's, that's, that's reimbursing us back. Correct. So it's not no county funds. Actually, it won't even be a reimbursement. We will have the IEMA funds before we close it, so it won't we won't be out the money and then our reimburse that money. It will be their funds that will. We're just passing through. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So we're we're, just, we're participating in an IEMA yeah. event. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion to accept this agreement that uh, Gary Ham's already signed for us. All right. Get a second on that. Second. All right. All agree, say aye. 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 And if you, let's see, we'll put that in the minutes. Both and Jason, if I can just get you to, you know, sign or something at the bottom of the logo area. Okay. So we've got. Does she need to attest to that too, or no? I don't think so. That is actually the, the FEMA document. They send you a packet of documents, and you have to get all those signed. So, that's actually their acquisition. <coughs> well, uh, Josh, Josh, why? Did we have to buy that ground property? Not the, where the house is at, but the three quarters of an acre. Just in their, uh, in, in their regulations, documents, documents. Okay. Okay. it provides that a small acreage or something. Or? Well, any adjacent property to the property that <coughs> you're supposed to get them all in one. Okay. One fell swoop is how it's supposed to work. Okay. Like I said that. Should have been included in the uh, in the original yeah. appraisal and the original grant.
branch. I just don't know thought about her even on it. Might be. It, it probably just didn't come up. Yeah. Because it was. She said pretty, once yeah. was married to Marty Jacobs that just passed. Was she? I don't know. No. Okay. Was so he signed? Did anyone sign here? Yeah. Didn't he sign there? Stuck with that somewhere. Oh, okay. I think. You might have passed it off already. What is it to? Thomas Rudy? Yes. Right here. Yeah. Put today's day. Oh. Well, is there any? Uh, is this yours? I don't know. I'm going to steal it. There. Throw that on there, please. I'll leave it. It's stuck uh -huh. together. That should be it. All right. Thank you. Good. We'll get that sent up. Take it times 102 percent, which is pretty much what we do with everybody else's budget. We're looking at a total of from 14 budget to 15 budget of 62,782. But that isn't enough because, that's what I said, because of raises, they got a two percent raise on January 1st, and then they. Cheryl will step up. But she was actually hired in at ten dollars an hour when John hired her. Well, we got complaints about that. Uh huh. And so mine hired in at nine eighteen, and she is more than qualified. She is going for a bachelor's in accounting, and she's just willing to work for nine dollars and eighteen cents an hour, which is now nine thirty six an hour. I feel very fortunate to have gotten someone because CIC said we really needed an accountant. I'm lost. She hired in at 918. Yeah, but the two percent raise went into effect January 1st. Okay. And that brought it up to 936. However, Cheryl will be here six months in March, and hers will go up to 1225. And Christina will be here six months in May, and hers will go up to 1225. And of course, Lynn received that 2% raise as well. So Lynn in 14 was 1669. Am I reading yes, that correct? That's correct. I took 14's budget times 102 percent. That's 62, 782, 02. Instead, we have budgeted 69,000 total as far as deputies and part time. So, if I took last year's budget times 107 percent. Two thousand fifteen budget for your help in there is a hundred and pretty close to a hundred and twelve percent of two thousand fourteen budget. I can't so, help that. Well, so we're already ten percent 
but we go by the union contract. So I have to give them those raises. Yeah, that's so we're 112 percent. So I'm gonna say we're already 10 percent above everybody else's budget. Follow me. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if I'm gonna if your budget goes up and we we're already, I mean, that was already proposed. You're already 10% above what the rest of the offices are getting as far as a. But I, that's what I'm saying. So who do you want me to get rid of? Uh, I've got to have this amount in order to keep my health, in order to keep that office running the way it should be running. Prior to John Taylor, and when John Taylor started, he had four other people in there besides himself. And every county clerk prior to that, I've only got three. Every other office around here has at least three, if not four, of the elected officials have that many people. So you say and mine's going up more, yeah, when you're considering there was two before and now there's three, yeah, I'd say it would go up that much. But I've got to have everybody in there. Okay. To make that office run as efficiently as it can. Because it hasn't ran, been ran efficiently. So when however many different office holders come in here next week and say, why didn't I get to add one, what is my answer to them? I had to add mine. Now John added his, yes. And he, we needed her desperately. I have to have mine because she's the accountant. If I have to lay anybody off, it would have to be my accountant. I cannot do the county clerk's job and the accountant's job, too. And not only that, you might keep in mind she is a minority. I mean, I don't, I don't, <laughs> there's only so much money in the kitty, I, I guess. It's but I don't have part-timers, so why is the 10000 a lot for part-timers? I didn't even ask for that, and I, I submitted what I had to have. Well, I think I speak for us. The consensus was we would put it in part time, seeing and try to see what the year brings. Because there, I mean, there may be a time when there's not. I mean, we, it's very possible we'll have to cut budgets back. Uh, I'm not saying it's pretty, it's just reality. There's, there's, we don't have the money. I mean, I, I, I'll grant you this, I, I would love to have extra help in my business or new equipment, mm -hmm. but I just don't have the money. But I have to have this many people. I cannot do without another person. And I definitely, like I said, cannot do without that account. Do you happen to know where we're at as far as your office's uh, deputy salaries compared to 2014 budget? Like I said, you're talking apples and oranges there. I, there was two people, me and Lynn, that was it. Well, I'm not real sure that we're not even gonna be above 2014's budget, which is gonna be a problem. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're counting two people. No, I'm talking about in 14. That's what I'm talking about, in 14. That was the 6100 and right there, the 61551, because he only had two people. <coughs> up until? And up until August, and, she, and that probably does not include her. That's what I'm saying. We're yeah. already above our 14 budget. Yeah. What's your guys' thoughts? I mean, well, I mean, I tried to explain it to Juanita the other day. I said, you know, think you know when we were talking the other day you know one of us brought up the idea of just uh, put it in that uh, part-time salary you know wait till April or May make sure things are running smoothly and then go ahead and put the rest of the money in there to the end of the year when, when providing should, we have the money and it should be should be fine you know and uh, I feel like that's our contentions that everything will be okay but uh, uh, it wasn't enough <coughs> 
not, I mean, it's going to be more than just your office affected, obviously. I mean, everybody will be affected. Yeah. Perhaps my girls need to join the union. I, I don't Me know. too. You know, <laughs> but I, I, I'm just saying, that's what was, uh, you know, that's what was discussed, and uh, for some reason that's what we went with. So, I mean, let's see what... I mean, if it's not fair, we can always go back to what everybody else got, if you don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair that everybody else had three and four people helping them, and I'm, you're, like, you're expecting me to just drop one. Well, now, what, I guess I'm confused as to what point did you decide, which, you, I mean, just, well, it's none of my business what point you decided. I mean, it's your office. You can run it how you want. So I won't even ask the question. Well, John tried to do voter registration and recording both. And voter registration and election suffered. You can't do both. <coughs> it's just too much. So you need that person recording. And you need the one taking care of the voter registration and elections. What did she request? I don't have it in front of me. I, I just have the actual physical numbers. 79, uh, I mean, like, under, what did she request for 15 under deputy salary? That's what I 80, requested. 80,000. Eighty thousand two eighty one, or seventy nine. No, the seventy nine six twenty five sixty. That was because we weren't sure if, if we could get the accountant in at ten dollars or not, and I didn't even ask. So basically, we're uh, we just trimmed off what ten thousand dollars. That's all we did, wasn't it? I mean, it's fifty nine thousand plus ten thousand sixty nine, and you requested seventy nine six twenty five. Mm -hmm. Eleven thousand. Ten thousand six twenty five. Listening or something. So, Jeff, the question is: Is uh, do we want to put ten thousand six twenty-five more in her budget to fulfill two thousand fifteen, or? At best, we're on, we need to keep it where it's at and make adjustments. I mean, we're, like I said, we're already 10% above. If I was one of these other office holders, I'd be screaming. Now, I'm not saying that's good, bad, right, indifferent, whatever. I'm just saying. I mean, now, how do you get to 10% above? I mean, I know what you're saying, that she's yeah, requesting, because... but, but she was understaffed before. Exactly. Do we agree to that? Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't work in there, so I can't tell you whether she was or not. Well, let me put it this way. I was, we were so far behind in minutes that it's taken two of them now to try to get it caught up. I was so far behind in my work that Chrissy is now still trying to catch up mine as well as learn the news because that we only had two people. And when you take the phone ringing off the hook, you take elections, you take hunting and fishing license that you have to sell. Um, Anything and everything that walks through that counter, because you never know what it is. Death certificate, birth certificate, deed, whatever. Some things we have to manually look up still. That takes time. Um, tax sale and all that is involved in, in that takes time. It's a very, very busy office. And when there was only two of us, yes, we fell very far behind on everything especially when the state put those marriage licenses out there. When you're used to selling 50 a year and you sell 52 in one month, 
All you did was sell marriage license. I'm just, a, I just am where I am. I, okay. All right. Gerald, what you got any so thoughts? What are you talking about? Bringing it back up in my... And well, I, mean, she said <coughs> I thought it. originally when we talked about this, Jeff suggested... He might not have been here. I don't okay. remember. I don't I'm know, because I know there was times that just him and I met or me and you, and uh, we had thought about uh, or it was discussed where uh, to get that office, the revenue, you know, we're looking at fees. brought up to just you know see where it's at you know and just just reduce it. I think it's the way it was brought up and then we then I would look you know we look at it in March or April and uh, make the adjustment in because we're 10,625 short basically what it is. and that's uh, that's about a half a salary of a probably the new person there and, uh, Will that new fee help him? Well, we had what new fee? Oh, didn't we? Uh, we hadn't changed anything yet. Yeah. No. Huh? No. I mean, we had we had you know looked at those fees and looking at <coughs> changing some of those to to create more income for uh, yeah. county clerk and the assessor. assessor's office. You know, like I said before, which I don't know if one of these has been here or not, uh, I thought, you know, she needed extra help just because she's a, a new uh, per person doing the job. Mm -hmm. She don't have the, uh, the time and the skills yet that John Taylor had because he did it for many years. And no offense to you. No, but I um, mean, it's true. just, you know, you got, a, you, got a, you got a huge learning curve ahead of you. And, uh, you know, John uh, was probably a little bit more efficient getting stuff done just because he knew what needed to get done long. at a yeah. certain time. Right. And uh, not saying he was always on, you know, whatever, but just saying that he's more comfortable with the position. And, you know, you always may be able to get by with less help, but, you know, with, with a whole new uh, person doing the job, it's going to be, uh, require more time for more people. I think that's the way we looked at it, and I think, you know, Jeff and I, I didn't know if he was here, we just said, well, let's just put some in there and see where it goes, you know. Um, we can revisit if you want to. But, personally, I, I, I think she does need that, you know. That's just way Well, and too, I'm still having to retrain Chrissy from CIC coming down and train her because once that person left, everything was in. So that's, that's just a whole other subject, but, you know, but I am having to take time away from my work now to help her. And it will be that way for a little while, because you don't learn that job overnight. There's too much. She hasn't even been <coughs> to that cell yet. I mean, I have no issue if you all want to keep it the same and we revisit here in a few months. I'm good with that, too. I think it's all going to work out. It's just me being optimistic. Well, I think it will too. You know, going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. we'll just uh, she'll just uh, but if, have but an if, amendment to her budget. Yeah, but if if uh, one either don't like that, then we can sit here and hash it out. Well, it's just that I talked to Patrick, and Patrick said amendments were for like machines breaking down and so forth, not salary. That could be. I mean, legally, you might not be doing something right. You might be right. I, I don't know. He said the way that you normally do it is put it all up front, and then if something happens, then you go from there on salaries.
I'm not sure the, the plane will get damaged, but that control will not be out there. We need to do something about it. We're going to have to put a cage over that whole thing, don't you think? Yeah. Why did you put it up there where we're talking about? I'm not sure that would make any difference because with the clientele that's running around down there, somebody yeah. won't screw it. Well, they wouldn't kick, you know, at least kick it yeah. off the ball. Now, a kid might go in there. <clears throat> Looks like me had been as, just as easy. Uh, well, maybe not. I, I saw those pipes came out the top of it, so I guess it's easier where it's at. Less pipe. But it's already, I guess he's got them all mounted, don't he? But that one. Randy told me yesterday because I ran into him. I thought he said he got all got seven of them up. And I said, "You put them up high?" And he said, "No." I thought that's what I thought that's what we were going to do. Well, we well, asked Nutty, and he kind of lost for words. I, he really I think he reason. forgot what he told me. Okay. I think he knew he was supposed to put up high, and he forgot about it. Because I know we discussed. It. He said, "Oh yeah, we'll put them up high so people won't be able to touch them." Is there a tank on there, or is this a tankless deal? I think it's, 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 it's just a little tank. It it's might like, be tiny. Like I think he said, like two, fifteen gallon. No, two. Two gallon. Yeah. yeah. Anything on? They make I think a five. And, and I tell you what, I guess we could do is uh, get somebody to make a plywood structure. You know, that would just set over there and bolt to the wall. Would that work? That Max can do the electrician. He must be the way he acted he with Russell. That's not Ru I mean, that's not Max Russell. No, no. that's not yeah. Russell. No, I mean, he's but he might work for Max. Yeah. Or do something like that. All right. Well, Before we wrap this up, ten thousand six twenty-five. Do we want to add it into the budget now or wait? That's that's the bottom line. That's where we're at. Don't matter to me. No. I mean, I think we're. With no, we might, we're we're, we're two hundred thousand and plus. We think we are for next year. Uh, uh, above, yeah. You know, by what our income was to what our expenses are. So, so nobody wants to make a move on it. We can. <coughs> Looks like, uh, yeah, our, uh, <coughs> looks like we, we should have maybe around high $200,000 carryover. Possible. Well, the budget hasn't been signed. Or no, they, I mean, they're, they're going to take it down and type it up. I have to tell you, Quentin, I put 2% raise on there for him. He didn't ever give us nothing, but that's what he did. You all right with that? Yeah, I thought that was kind of common. Yeah, I did too, but I mean, I never did get nothing from Quentin, so I just want to let y'all know that's what I did. Oh, I wasn't aware of that either. Huh? I wasn't aware of that either. Of what? He got a 2% raise. Well, I wonder if we should wait until, we can't really wait on the uh, contract. Did before, did we do that retroactive one yeah, time? Yeah, I mean, they could go back on his next paycheck and just right. add a, whatever to be. A correction. Or it, it yeah. it'll be all fine. Now, well, the only what one I'm saying is, do we need to wait until we sign the budget? Well, that's where it should be, that, that they don't get the raises until we sign the budget, but I'd say 90% of the time they're probably getting them already. Well, Patrick came down the other day and asked yeah. who all was doing it, and he went and he said it's okay. Uh, Sergeant Clark, I never did get nothing from Larry. So, Grace? Yeah, so. We just took his times 102%, correct? Yeah. But, you know, there'll be people in there getting annual, you know, getting uh, whatever it's called, you know. Longevity rate. Right? Yeah. Right. You know, whatever. So it won't be exact, but, I mean, so. I guess his salary's still the same. I don't guess it's changed. It went up in December. It did change. It did change in December. Okay, well. I, mean, I just have his 2014 budget salary is 43407. So I don't know what uh, we signed a ordinance, did we not? Yes. What a new 
Chris Howard. Mm -hmm. I would I can't remember for certain, but I would bet it's 102 percent. Well, I'll just put two percent on both of them. Then. So that's it. Besides that, I think we're done. All right. Well, I'm not going to tell real fast. I got forty-four thousand two seventy. Take this times 26 payrolls, correct? I'm showing 44, 2, 17, 94. 44, 2, 17. I have 44, 2, 17. Okay. So well, that'll cover it. Well, I mean, how do you go about that? When you, when you, you just pay them their, their salary according to ordinance, or do you pay them their salary according to budget? According to ordinance. Right. Yeah, the ordinance said. Okay, so. So I would leave the budget alone there. I mean, it's fine if it's $50. I'm going to get 44 Just a few dollars more. <coughs> How's the package, Jackson? Just fine. Western TV character. He was working at 4 a.m. the other night. Yep. Does every weekend. I was at work. Every weekend. The password can take it, so that isn't the normal way to do it. Yeah. You see, normally an amendment is made if a piece of equipment tears up or something like that, but not salary. My thought would Go ahead and include the whole thing in there when you, when you pass the budget, and then if you don't use it until March, April, May, whatever. I mean, you don't have to deplete the whole thing. I mean, if you if you pass the budget and had salaries for them in there, even if you did a whole year, you wouldn't have to pay out the whole year. You know what I mean? I mean, you could. That would save you from we're, we're, our, our fears are we're not going to have the money in three, five, six months. Okay. This is an added employee. Okay. Which is my account. Because she was the last one hired to replace me. So you're, she's hired currently? Yes. So are you not putting any money in the budget for her? We have budgeted budget. the first six months for her. I see. Under a part-time line. Uh, I see. But she's not part-time. She's full-time. Yeah, I mean, uh, typically that wouldn't be the way you would do it. That's, that's true. Uh, whether you can do it, I'm not sure what the, the process would have to be. Do you want to I can look, look into it and get Jeff or myself or Jerry one of us call? Yeah. You know, do you want to do that?